Hello everyone, Phil here for KO Gaming, and welcome to another mini-review. Every once in a while, something pops up that I want to share my thoughts on, but I don't really think it warrants a full review, and the subject matter today is definitely that case when we're talking about The Walking Dead Michonne, a three-episode mini-series from Telltale Games, that same game developer that released such successful titles as The Walking Dead Seasons 1 and 2, The Wolf Among Us, Game of Thrones, and Tales from the Borderlands in recent years. In comparison to those other games, The Walking Dead Michonne is a three-episode miniseries, meaning it's only going to have three parts, unlike the five or six parters that Telltale Games is known for developing. That being said, it's also being released for a $15 price tag, which is a good $10 to $15 cheaper than those other game releases as well, so it's up to you to decide whether or not three episodes versus five or six is enough to warrant a purchase. Now, for those who played The Walking Dead Seasons 1 and 2, you're going to be treading very familiar territory here, the only difference being you're actually controlling a protagonist from the mainstream Walking Dead comic book and TV storylines, Michonne, the badass katana-wielding zombie-killing heroine who has really inspired viewing audiences, especially on the television show. Her actually getting her own game is kind of a neat idea, and it's something a lot different than what... Uh, Telltale has done in the past, where typically most of their games are based around completely new characters, so this is actually a departure for them. Episode 1, titled In Too Deep, is a 90-minute romp through the drama and zombie-infested world of The Walking Dead. Yes, it's going to be very similar to what you've done in previous Telltale games, including branching dialogue arcs, people saying they'll remember the responses that you gave them, and supposedly it will change the outcome of the game at certain points. Now, for those of us who've been around the block, we know full well that a lot of the times, these choices that we make don't necessarily have too much of an impact on the ultimate ending of the game, although with The Walking Dead Season 2, it did throw us a little bit for a loop with multiple endings that completely change the outcome of the season, but I digress. In this particular game, it's uncertain whether or not anything that we do yet is actually going to have an impact on the story, so I guess we'll just have to see in future episodes. Now, no major spoilers here, but this miniseries is supposed to cover a dead period of time in Michonne's history where she was in between spending time with Rick Grimes and the survivors that we all know and love from the comic books and the mainstream television series. And interestingly enough, this miniseries is supposed to be canon to the actual story of The Walking Dead. So we're going to be running into all kinds of new characters and, and situations here where we haven't heard from them before or it might just be something that we never hear from again, but it's still interesting to get backstory, although I have to admit, it is kind of disappointing knowing that Michonne is eventually going to meet up with Rick and all of them again, therefore we know there's no risk involved, she really can't die. It proves that kind of she is safe while everyone else around her is at risk. Ultimately, it's that safety factor around the main protagonist Michonne that I feel makes this miniseries so far not as good as the original two seasons of The Walking Dead. When you have a main character who you care about, but you know will not get injured, will not get bitten, there really is no risk in any situation for that character, it's kind of disappointing. It's kind of like watching any prequel story, where you know that character future tense is going to go on to do better stuff, and it ends up being kind of frivolous. And ultimately, I think that what this miniseries will end up being is just kind of a little bit of backstory development for Michonne. In fact, in this episode, there's a lot of allusions to family members and stuff in her past I will not spoil. But at the same time, you don't really get that invested in it. Even though it has the same gruesomeness, the same kind of choose-your-own-adventure dialogue, the same kind of quick-time event gameplay, and all the elements that made the first two seasons successful... It just ends up feeling a lot short of that because your main character is not going to get injured. So ultimately, I have to ask the question, was it a good choice to pick a character from the mainstream Walking Dead storyline and include them in this and make them the main protagonist when you know nothing is really going to risk their safety? I don't know. Ultimately, it's going to be your decision whether you want to put down 15 bucks for three episodes that are going to be roughly 90 minutes each but for me, I definitely want to do it. I want to go through it and get a little bit more information. But so far, it's not gripping me in the same way that the original two seasons did. 
However, with two episodes still on the horizon, it is kind of early to write this one off, so let's play it by ear, and when the other two episodes are released, I'll be giving the game a full review later on in 2016. So thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I certainly hope that you enjoyed this mini-review. If you did, I hope that you'll check out the playthrough over on DSP Gaming, the link to which you can find in the description of this video. Also, please check out our Amazon Associates link in the description as well, and check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. Peace out, everyone, and I'll see you next time for another mini-review on KO Gaming.